Hello you massive bunch of flankers, how the hell are you all doing? Welcome back to Crash Ball TV. What a day it was yesterday, we finally, finally got to see a little bit of footage of Rugby 24. The rugby gaming community is absolutely buzzing, lots of discussions and conversations happening about Rugby 24 and what we saw yesterday basically. In this video today, we are going to take a closer look at the head scans and compare them to the real life players. Let's get straight into it. All right, guys, what I've done is I have taken screenshots of the players you're seeing on your screen right now. I've then gone and brightened some of them so you can see them a little bit better. And I have grabbed pictures of the real life player in a very similar position so we can compare the two to see exactly just how good of a job the developers have done of scanning these players. Okay, so as you can see on screen, the first one we are looking at is Elliot Daly. Now, as you can see, the picture on the left, that is the screenshot from within the game and the trailer that we saw. The picture on the right, that is a real-life picture of Elliot Daly. I think it's pretty recent as well. So the first thing I've noticed, guys, okay, is uh, the, the ears. They kind of look the same. If you take a look at that right one, it's got a little bit of a point to it, right? And the one on the left seems a little bit more rounded. They've done a pretty good job of getting that right. And I mean, the shape of the head's pretty good. The forehead's pretty good. Um, I mean, the teeth are just the generic teeth I think we're going to see throughout the game. But I think overall they've done a pretty good job of this one. And I think it was pretty clear to me when I first watched it that, yeah, that is Elliot Daly. So good job to the developers on that one. All right, next we have Marwe Toje. Now, if you watched my video yesterday... I wasn't quite sure if it was or wasn't him and I mean looking back yes it's definitely him obviously he's got shorter hair but again take a close look at the ears on the left and the right side the one on his left side in the game picture compare it to the real life image look how spot on that is as well they got the lips are pretty good pretty accurate obviously the lighting is different in both images so it's hard to tell I think the I told J one could do with a little tweak just to get the head shape right. But overall, they've done a pretty good job with this one. And let's take a look at the nose as well. I mean, the nose shape is pretty much spot on. Again, because of the light in each picture, it's a little bit tricky to tell. But yeah, I think they've done a damn good job on this one. All right, up next, we have Manu Tulangi. Now, I think this one for me is probably one of the best in terms of feature shapes i mean look at the nose on both of them right that nose is undeniable manu tulangi's nose i mean look at it and again with the ears as well you can only see one in each picture pretty accurate the top of the ear has a bit of a v shape going on there again and uh, the hairline is, as well is pretty good i mean the way that the skin fade and the way it sort of blends in the way it's cut and the the shape of the hairline itself is very, very good. The eyebrows, I mean, he's doing a bit of a people's eyebrow there. I don't know what exactly that is all about. But, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty damn good. Same with the lips. Uh, the bottom lip in particular kind of sticks out a little bit more. It's kind of a bit thicker. So, yeah, they've done another really good job with Manu. And the final image we see in the trailer, or the final player is Mr. George Ford. Now, this one, yesterday, if you watched my video, I wasn't quite sure who it was, but that was because of how dark it was. Now I've brightened it up a little bit. I'm 100% sure that that is George Ford. I mean, look at the side-by-side -side comparison. The chin is pretty much spot on. The nose in-game is a touch too long, so I think we'll see a tweak on that to make it a little bit shorter. The ears are, again, very, very good. The hairline is very, very good. Uh, I mean the shape of the head as well also extremely good and yeah I think they've done yet another great job with George Ford uh, I'm very excited to see how they look in game when you're running around and things uh, not only these four that I've showed you today but other players as well but yeah look at that George Ford one I mean pretty much spot on 
But yes, guys, there you have it. That is my little side-by-side -side comparison video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful as well to help you guys compare players. Oh, wait a second. I forgot something. Are you a rugby gamer who is keen to be a part of a community of like-minded people? Come and join the Rugby Gaming Network Discord server, an ever-growing community of rugby gaming fans and a place to discuss everything from rugby gaming to real-life rugby, other sports and everything else in between. Find the link in the description below and come be a part of the number one rugby gaming Discord. Yes, guys, do come and join us over at the Rugby Gaming Network Discord. Link is down below. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in to the video today. If you liked it, make sure you smash that like button. Hit subscribe as well so you never miss any more Crash Ball TV content. And guys, I will see you next time.